Here are five things you need to know when you're using Prisma. First of all, what is Prisma? Prisma is the preferred reporting style for systematic reviews. Right? It is a range of resources that tells you how to report when you've done a systematic review and it also gives you clues on how to actually do the systematic review but there are tons of other resources. Number two, when people usually refer to Prisma though, they're usually referring to the Prisma diagram because that's the most accessible thing that people see. Okay, and this question is saying, okay, when I use that Prisma diagram, what do I actually put in there? That Prisma diagram is for you to show after you've done your systematic search that was based on your inclusion exclusion criteria based on your um, keywords and also the search strategy that you did what papers did you find where did you find them how did you remove duplicates this is you reporting that in a nice and transparent way so it's not all the papers that you use to write your background the only things you're putting in there are the papers that you found and screened in that systematic search number three there's also a paper of more detailed guidelines that was written by Paige and colleagues and I think it's in the BMJ. If you read that, honestly take an hour to read that, it will it will illuminate a lot of things for you. I'm not saying that it's not it's going to be perfect, but at least you'll know what this whole Prisma thing is all about. Number four, most of your universities have something to do with how to do a systematic review. If you go in your university library and you look at something to do with knowledge synthesis or something to do with what's available in your university, they will have something to do with either the librarian can help you do a systematic search or they actually have a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, five, if you're having to do this as part of your literature review dissertation, I actually have a writing guide that helps you to write the way that not only you know has all the key things in there but you are hitting the synthesis analysis critical analysis and evaluation so i hope that that was helpful and that answered your question and good luck